Firestone has established a chair to honor the beginning of the legacy of Jack Lacey, who uh, was a professor here before moving on to public life. Um, what do you take to be Jack's legacy and uh, footprint in Canadian public life? You know, I think that it makes a lot of sense for the chair to be at a university like Ryerson, which has its roots as a polytech which has its roots in applied work that really matters in the community and that is deeply rooted in the place it finds itself in downtown Toronto. I think all of those things make sense regardless of the fact that Jack was a professor here, that this is a place that truly honors that legacy. Because I never took a class with him, I never read his academic writing, but I strongly suspect that Jack's work also was deeply rooted in the reality of community and in the reality of making change in community. And to me, that's really what it's all about. It's not about doing endless studies on whether Plato's views apply in mm. modern day political discourse, but it's really about getting down to what real people need from their governments in real life, at real times, and figuring out how to make people's lives better. What place do you think there is for universities, and I'll even be specific here, we are we are the faculty of arts. What's the place of, a, of a, 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 an undergraduate education in arts in, in being a pathway to that kind of uh, participation, engagement, and community? Now you're asking that to a professor in a business school. <laughs> this may be dangerous, but no, the whole point of community is understanding one another. Understanding who we are, understanding where we've been, and understanding where we're going. And when you think about disciplines in the arts, from history to English, that really is what it's about. It's about understanding who we are as a community. That's not just sociology and anthropology. It crosses arts disciplines. And so for people to get that undergraduate grounding in human beings and in humanity and what humanity is capable of, I think is very, very powerful training. Hmm. Last question, uh, really sort of uh, shot in the dark. Um, if you had a chance to uh, commune and chat to Jack, what do you think you'd be talking about? Community? We'd probably be talking about really crass political things. <laughs> how do you win an election? How do you maintain your power and so on? Because I think he had a real sense for that mm -hmm. stuff. Um, certainly I would love to talk about the more philosophical things about community, but when I knew Jack, um, which I didn't know him well, but when I knew him in his role in federal politics, I also really enjoyed the bare knuckle political tactician that he was. Uh, and to me, that was something that was always really fun. Well, it would be a conversation of two experts. Uh, Mayor Ninchi, a real treat having you here. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.